Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly reading for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the week of November 21st through the 27th, and your cards are already jumping out. Let's tap into your energy. Let's see. King of Swords, beautiful, with the Sun card. Ace of Pentacles, keeping yourself in stagnation, a little bit trapped in overthinking over whether or not to accept this job offer, whether or not to uh, move towards something that you love when it comes to making money. Uh, thinking and overthinking about what the next step, next phase. Uh, I also feel that some of you have the opportunity to be like big boss, right? A promotion. I feel like the money sounds good, the job not so much is what I'm hearing, okay? So yeah, a lot to look forward to in your near future. Also think, also hearing about like if you do take on another position, another job, another assignment, a change of environment uh, within the home or business or otherwise, there's still a lot of that adjustment or readjustment phase. I think that you're afraid that it may not be as flexible making these changes changes as the schedule you're accustomed to. A lot to think about here. I think you already know what decision to make and which path to take moving forward. You have the devil card, eight of coins, or I'm sorry, eight of cups, and the knight of cups, cancer. Lots to think about here, but overall you do have, okay, and the death card wanted to come out and the queen of swords so right off the bat you've got scorpio virgo uh, aquarius libra gemini capricorn <sighs> energies <laughs> you may have that in your chart or that may be what you are dealing with um there's some sort of hang up here on an emotional basis okay whatever it may be for you um, whatever decisions that you need to make, it's almost as though you are making decisions based on the needs of your family or home life situation, but also the same reason why it's like a catch-22. Really strange energy here. It's like, yes, I would love this new opportunity. It would be great for my family and I, but it would actually take me away from my family if I decided to take this position. That's for those dealing with an opportunity when it comes to business, finances, promotions, or taking on a new chapter, like getting, you know, going back to school, things like that. Um, you know, taking on... Um, a new creative new endeavor knowing that ultimately it's a good thing it's a good outcome good decision but you know uh that in the you know in the immediate future it feels like you'll you'll be missing out on some moments with your family with your friends especially if you have some pending um you know uh, plans and you just know you may have to cancel you may have to like uh, miss out on some pretty big things coming up in uh, the near future when it comes to like friends, family members, your inner circle, things like that. Overall, I really feel that with the sun card, the ace of pentacles, it's a very positive outcome no matter what happens. I feel like even if you deny or decline uh, whatever this uh, creative new endeavor, promotion, job, opportunity is, the money will still come in in other ways is how I'm hearing it. I feel like some of you also don't want to be tied and bound to money, tied and bound to the job, tied and bound like feeling like enslaved, right? Um, I feel like some of you already put in a lot of work. You don't want to uh, go into burnout, overburden yourself. Uh, you feel like even on your days off, you're just trying to figure out how to get grounded, decompress, and enjoy the time you have like on your weekends or the time off on the days off that you have with your you know, closest people, your inner circle. I feel like you feel that uh, the sacrifices you're making, although, you know, with positive, um, with, with, you know, with, with good intentions in mind, you still feel almost as though you're missing out on a few things. And look at that, King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. That is you, but look, you've got the full Three of Cups. 
<laughs> the higher and some of you may be saving up for marriage maybe saving up for marriage commitment engagement wanting to take things to the next level uh, I also feel that for some of you that are not in a committed relationship but you are seeing someone it's like you do want to take this to the next level but you feel like there's still more time, energy, effort you need to put into this situation. I even feel that if you are in a relationship or in a partnership where things just haven't gotten to that point because you know, you've know you made your job, your career, your finances top priority and I feel like, again, you're doing it with very good intentions. You're doing it to secure uh, your financial future for yourself, your partner, your family, whatever it may be, whatever your situation may be, whatever goals, plans you have in mind. Uh, this this may leave the person in your life feeling as though um, I'm not sure if you're truly interested in them. Do they see a future with me or not? And you're just like, how could you even question that? Of course. And I feel like sometimes this makes this person, your partner feel a little bit insecure on the verge of almost like giving up and walking away. And you're just like, no, I, I love you. Don't go anywhere. I'm just trying to secure the bag. Just trying to, you know, get us to a better place. Like I know I haven't been putting enough time, energy and effort as I should be, but trust me, I'm not going anywhere. Anywhere. that's what I'm hearing okay so there is a need for some clear-cut communication before that turns a little heavy and toxic and you know people wanting to give up you know so it feels as those sacrifices you're making in terms of time energy effort to a relationship or family situation uh, really you know you need to make sure that even though you are not there physically, sometimes you are there connecting with them, staying connected emotionally, um, letting them know a sense of reassurance that you're not going anywhere just because, you know, you're spending less and less time. Yeah. Nine of Wands energy. Now, <clears throat> in business, um, most definitely feels like whatever it is that you decide, the money is going to come in whether or not you decide to take it. It's just going to take some time for another opportunity like that to come around. I feel like you're going to be seen as someone who <clears throat> you like the money, but you're not ready for the responsibility. And so I feel like people maybe like higher ups are second guessing that maybe you're just not at the level of wanting to put in the full on commitment. But in reality, you're just not willing to put in the full on uh, burden on your back, knowing that yes, there is a lot more responsibility. I'm not necessarily running away from the responsibility. I can handle the responsibility. I just don't want to because I've got kids, I've got a partner, I've got a fiance, I've got whatever, fill in the blank, other commitments that you don't want to be completely exhausted when it comes to, you know, being a part you know, being, being a part of whomever's life, children, friends, family, you know, partnership, you want to be present and you feel that if you take on this job, I, I just feel like, you know, that right now the money isn't that huge of a necessity. Like you're in a good place. Uh, could things be better? Absolutely. Will you have opportunities to make your finances better? Yes, they will be few and far between, but they will be there no matter what, okay? So <clears throat> keep that in mind. In the meantime, um, be careful with your expenses. Um, you don't want to overdo it. I feel like in the holiday season, you may actually be putting in more hours and getting more money, but just as quickly as you're receiving it, you're blowing it. So be mindful of that. Be careful of that. Yeah, and, and, and there it is. And see that same energy I got is some of you maybe, you know, saving up for an engagement ring, saving up for a wedding, a family reunion, expenses, wanting to, you know, do it big for the holiday season because of, well, the last year and a half with the pandy kind of blocked everyone from really doing it big, you know, and I feel like some of you are just like, no, this year we're going to have everyone come around this year. We're going to like, I want to be able to buy everyone something special and you know, that's great. Just be mindful of your uh, expenses. Okay. <clears throat> so here we go. Eight of swords. What's holding you back besides you? <laughs> eight of swords. Clarify the eight of swords. <laughs> um, 
I think that some of you are thinking that the, you know, I got to keep doing this. I got to keep doing this, keeping yourself kind of like in a workaholic mode, um, trying to be consistent with uh, how you do things in business, but realizing that the more you put into it to keep, you know, in this consistent energy at work, it, it I think that you're starting to realize just how much of a sacrifice your personal life is taking it's taking a toll on your family and your your personal life um you know because you really want to be in a good place financially or you know with your bosses people you know that you look up to your mentors i feel like they there are some uh goals that have been imposed on you and you know commitments that they've kind of uh, pinned you to is how i see it like you know on a pin board like oh you know you did so great i want you to shoot higher and i feel like i'm seeing like big goals sales goals or complete like project completion goals whatever that may mean um I feel like everyone has a certain task or certain things that they have to complete and for whatever reason they just believe in you so much and they love the way that you work that they just add on more and I don't feel like they're abusing of it in terms of like we'll just give it to cancer cancer will take care of it I just feel more like you do such a great job I freaking love the way you work but you know how about you work on this like it's almost as like there's a little bit of excitement there that that I'm seeing with them okay and maybe not a little bit more like a lot <laughs> but what's the seven of swords and nine of wands energy yeah see so there it is like wondering okay is there another opportunity if i say no to this am i shooting myself in the foot a lot to think about i mean look at that with the five of cups and you know el pensiero like thinking about whether or not there you know again i'm hearing shooting myself in the foot am i shooting myself in the foot nine of pentacles says yes you will have other opportunities they will be few and far between i feel like um, you may have, you may feel like you may have to um, jump through some hoops for more opportunities to come later on. So there is this strong sense of feeling obligated and taking whatever it is that is thrown your way. Tell me about the devil card. I'm really feeling it more or less as in, you know, tied and bound to your job, tied and bound to the money, enslaved, slave work, um, you know, basically chasing that paper making that coin securing the bag and I don't feel it like in a super negative way uh, I just feel like you've got goals that personal goals personal goals that you want to meet forget the goals that your bosses give you you've got personal goals personal gains you know and what you want to do with those gains to expand your horizons for growth and expansion within your personal life your family life your children your partner your spouse buying a home whatever it may be cancer you got goals you know and so I feel like right now it's kind of like uh, I'm going to hustle, I'm going to do all this, but then maybe later on, I'm you know, it's going to catch up to me and I know I'm going to need a break. Are they going to be cool with that? You know, I even don't even feel like I, I need to clarify the devil. I feel like that was just a very clear cut message that I got. Um, seven of swords, nine of wands, ten. <laughs> see? You see? It's about the money. It's all about the money. This is big, you know, great big fortune, big money, big plans, lots of money coming in, opportunities for money, uh, growth, expansion, growing your money, investments, MasterCard number 11, hello, 26 is an eight, so clearly progress and massive growth and expansion in investments, wherever you put your money, your ideas, it will grow, okay? So that... It feels as though you're even saying, do I walk away from this opportunity? You know, do do I say no? Do I walk away? What do I do? Um, courthouse. So some of you may work in the legal field. Others of you may be winning a judgment, going to probate, maybe uh, receiving an inheritance of sudden wealth, great fortune, inheriting property. You may have to sell. Um, there's a lot of things coming up here um, in the toil and labor, knowing that if you... Uh, take this opportunity of money it's going to take a lot of hard work so uh, definitely have to take into consideration whatever it is you feel that you are sacrificing how much you have already sacrificed and what 
sacrifices you'll need to make in the present or near future. Okay, so Energy Oracle to close out this reading for my Cancer friends. Six Chakra Archangel Metatron. You know, trust your mind's eye, the visions you're seeing, the dreams, the messages that you're getting, the intuitive nudges. If something feels like you shouldn't, is that coming from self-doubt or is that coming from your inner guides, your higher self saying, maybe not, now is not the right time to do that. Okay, so pay attention, really sort out those feelings. What else do you have? Okay, the card of community. So you do have a support system here. You do have people that you enjoy working with, uh, connections, uh, networking, building a future with. Also feel that a sense of community when it comes to your family. Some of you, I feel like you're very much the provider of the family. You know, not just your, your partner, your spouse, your children, but maybe, you know, younger siblings, maybe extended family. Um, like you know elderly you know parents or grandparents that you still look after um, not not necessarily like fully financially but you know you pop in on them you check on them you make sure that that they got groceries you you know you stop by for things like that you make sure that everything is okay um, I definitely feel like uh, there's a very nurturing energy uh, for you cancer where you know you pop in and check in on certain you know friends family members immediate people just to make sure that everything's okay i feel like you're the one that that really brings in that sense of community so if you i feel like a lot of you guys are going to want to do it big for the holidays for sure um you know where maybe the last couple years you've kept it small this year it feels like the holidays are going to be big like big big like you're going to have like 20 plus people at your holiday gatherings, you know? So one other card that came out is uh, number 17, obviously an eight, progress, taking action, um, seeing things for, okay, these are my plans, my manifestations. I, I'm also, I know it's not here, but I'm also seeing like um, a lightning strike, like uh, lightning striking down on you to really wake you up. So some of you may get like that sudden spark of inspiration is how I heard it. Um, a sudden idea, a uh, sudden uh, nudge that you get from, from the universe, from your spirit guides, guardian angels. It just like really awakens you and opens you up to the next step of your life, next phase of your life, knowing that you need to take action. You need to put things into perspective and figure out what your next step, how far you've come with the, you know, where you want to go and what the steps are that you need to take to get there because you have the garden and the gate. Beautiful, beautiful energy here. So, you know, again, she's got the key around her neck the fence the gate is not that <laughs> that high clearly she could just jump over she doesn't need a key but she's definitely standing outside the gate contemplating how beautiful it must be to walk through those fields knowing that it takes a different type of person transformation to really flow into this abundant beautiful energy the garden and the gate so you know do you hold yourself back outside of the of the garden outside of the gate or are you ready to take that leap of faith and move forward okay so that is your reading cancer beautiful beautiful energy a lot uh for you to think about uh, how you move forward here i am linking here your playlist and all the other readings i've got for you make sure you give it a thumbs up show me some love down below in the comments uh double tap that bell to subscribe and get notified of all the other readings all your readings will be linked here i appreciate you guys so much i can't wait to see what is next for you guys take care bye